All right, so here we are with a few things we're going to look at. Here we have an Arduino, a Bluetooth adapter, and a servo, and some LEDs with a little program. We're going to connect that to the battery. All right, that's powered on. The servo goes back and forth to show that it's running. The heartbeat is running. Now we're going to start a program here on the on the uh, Android device which will connect okay this red light means that we're now connected and the uh, heartbeat is still running and we should be able to remotely control the servo and we'll try it and you see how the servo moves as I move my finger on the Android and now if you watch the red light over there as I increase the speed. We're now at 300, so we should go, the red light should flash faster and faster until we get maximum speed, 1000, so the red flag is now flashing, so that's our motor control. And you see we have full control over the servo. The, limits, the limit of the servo movement is, uh, was imposed by me, just so I wouldn't go to the edges. And an interesting thing about this is, is if we disconnect, okay, so now we lose connection. You wonder about the Bluetooth being able to reconnect, and we'll see what happens. For a few seconds, it's uh, not connected, and we're waiting. Up, up, we're back connected, and as soon as we send, we're back in business. So the Bluetooth reconnects all by itself. That's a pretty nice feature. And this was all done using processing, KTI library, the OSC library and the OSC Reno on uh, the Andro on the Arduino side. I'm sending OSC messages across the serial via the Bluetooth. That's about it. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed it, and you can find the code.